And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some five color Niv Mizzet. That's right, we're finally getting to our five color Niv Mizzet deck. And I've been working on it. This is what I got put together here. Um, as you can tell, there's there's so many different cool cards to play in five colors. And so um, lots and lots of one-ofs here. And one-ofs are, are pretty nice in a deck like this. When you have Niv Mizzet Reborn that gets to dig deep into your library, you know, you get to reveal 10 cards. And for each color pair, you know, choose one one of those cards in that color pair. So, you know, you're, you're digging 10 cards deep whenever we play Niv Mizzet. So it's good to have a bunch of different cards so you can have whatever specific answer you want for the that speci specific scenario. I thought about going um, creature-wise here and going with Neoform and, you know, playing uh, a bunch of creatures and, and go that, that route for Niv Mizzet Reborn. But it didn't really feel as powerful as a spell-heavy version with because there's just so many good spells. Um in standard right now, and, and I felt like the creatures weren't as, quite as powerful in this metagame. Um, and uh, so, yeah, so that's, that's what we got going on here. I've I've never really been that happy with playing Chromatic Lantern. It's just, it always feels like really slow and, and everything, and then like drawing a Chromatic Lantern in the late game, it doesn't do anything. You know, it's only good like if you have it on turn three. And so instead of going Chromatic Lantern, um, I'm just upping the land count a lot. We got 27 lands in here. And so hopefully with the 27 lands, a bunch of temples, we can just kind of uh, find the correct colors of mana each time. You know, like we're, this is mostly, um, mostly Sultai based with like the growth spirals and a lot of blue black spells. Um, and then we have like red and white are a little bit more of a splash colors, but not really, you know, like we're, we're going full out five color here so i'm just kind of hoping that that the um lands work and that we can find the correct lands um kind of the same thing with like discovery i know like before with niv i played a whole bunch of discoveries um but discovery is also just kind of slow you know like takes a turn to surveil to and then um draw a card and so yeah just kind of move, moving away from those also moved away from uh Thought Erasure, even though Thought Erasure is really powerful, because this deck's going to try to play into really late game scenarios and, and drawing Thought Erasure in the late game is not very good. And then also early, um, I'm, you know, I, uh, I'm not guaranteed to be able to have the mana to play Thought Erasure early either. But all right, yes, yeah, so this is, this is kind of like a control deck for the most part. Like we're, we're just, a just a whole, have a whole bunch of good spells. Of course, we have like the Clarions to help survive. I'm not going too heavy on sweepers. I thought Kaya's Wrath would be pretty difficult to to cast also, so I'm not really going Kaya's Wrath. I got just one Time Wipe. Um, time Wipe just works so well with Niv Misery Born. But uh, Clarion is, is kind of like my sweeper of choice. If they have creatures that are bigger than than three, if, if Clarion doesn't kill their creatures, we got Oko's. Oko turns the creatures into three threes, and then we Clarion them. So that's pretty cool. Um... But yeah, this, that's our deck. Let's let's give this a try. Five color Niv Mizzet. Yeah, I beside like everything here is like the multicolor card except for Golos, right? Like I have one Golos to help. Like that's my fix my mana card. The one Golos. Besides that, even our sideboards are, are two color cards. We're going all in on the Niv Mizzet theme. I want to be able to play more than than two spells a turn with this deck. I don't really want Fires of Invention because like later on, like after Niv Mizzet draws tons of cards, like I have so many like two and three mana cards, especially two mana cards. I want to be ca casting more than two things a turn. Okay, so we have Temple, Temple like for Growth Spiral. Um, put the Fairy back. So Secret Keeper, Self Mill, Reanimator. Okay. So we got a Reanimator deck. I could see them taking Growth Spiral. I could also see them taking Oko. 
Yeah. Because Oko, like, if they're trying to reanimate some sweet creature, then Oko just turns it into... Um... Oh, I guess I can't cast Royal Scions, can I? I should have looked at that a little bit better. Oko turns it into a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, I had like the blue red land. I'm like, okay, we'll play that, but I guess none of my other lands actually cast that. Okay, if I keep stomping ground, we can play scions. And then we have blue, red, white, black, green. So then we have perfect five colors for Niv Mizzet also. And Scions is just gonna be digging us towards Niv Mizzet. That's that's the goal of Scions. Do you just not have triple thought erasure? That's a jerk move. <laughs> so they can reanimate Scholar of the Ages and put two thought erasures back into their hand, <laughs> or obviously put a reanimate and a thought erasure. But we just want to draw Niv Mizzet. Niv Mizzet can cancel out all those thought erasures. You know, we can draw lots of cards with a Niv Mizzet. Like my opponent only has one card in hand. I could just time wipe here. Make it harder to reanimate. Like if they have blood for bones, they don't get to sack anything. I'm gonna do that. And then, because if I play Golos, I kind of have to have my Golos block this this Tonebound Lich, or we're gonna let them loot some more with Tonebound Lich. Change the carrot. Good call. Ah, uh, they had blood for bones, but they. Ah, it was a good time wipe. It was a good time wipe. I think they drew the Seeker Keeper. I, I don't think that they had Seeker Keeper in hand. Because otherwise they would not have discarded Cauldron Gift and just kept Seeker Keeper. So no, they, they had Blood for Bones. That was the card they kept. Ugh. Good call by me, but it didn't quite work. They... Top deck to one drop. Okay, so we need... I got two, two green, two white, two black, two red. I'm about to play two blue. So it doesn't really matter what I grab, to be honest. Let's get... Grab this temple. Waiting for... Nothing wrong with Enter the God Eternals, but it's not Niv Mizzet. And if you're not Niv Mizzet, you're going to the bottom. Yeah, that would be that would. It would be nice to have one Field of the Dead, but I am worried about my colors. You know, I don't want to. I don't really want to have a Field of the Dead. When I'm trying to cast Niv Mizzet. But yeah, it's I would love to have just a Field of the Dead that I never ever draw that I can grab with Golos. <laughs> just Or like I can't draw it unless I already have, you know, six lands in play. Yeah, I don't if I would have kept Enter the God Eternals, I'm I don't think I'm milling my opponent. Yeah, definitely not milling my opponent. Yuck. There's Niv. 
I mean, how do I win this? Like, I don't, I don't think I can win this, can I? I don't know. I'll play this. Oh, I should have looked at my auto tap. Not a great auto tap. Ugh. Should have looked at auto tap. Would have been nice to keep Vito available. Yeah, sideboard. I have a. I have four Ashioks in the sideboard. So, like, sideboard, we're good. But this game one is going to be rough. No, no Fires of Invention. We're casting our spells. I'm going the hard way. I'm not, not playing Chromatic Laners, not playing Fires. I'm just playing... Just playing my lands and playing spells. Not spending time doing that stuff. Yeah. Definitely cannot trust five color auto tap. I because I would have I would have chose to have Temple like the Epiphany and Silence available if I could. So because I could have done red, white, black. I guess I would have been green. Green. Yeah. I I could have done that. I could have had those two available. Okay, so we're going to get hit by Niv-Mizzet. That's fine. We're going to Dispark you, so you're just out of here for good. Just get out of here. Um, I guess I could just go Garrick Minus. Yeah, I guess I don't need to hold up Veto for a turn. This curse. This rummy. I need them gone. Time's up. No, we definitely want to spark Agent of Treachery. We don't want them to be able to keep reanimating Agent of Treachery. Hey, Braincox. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> Happy to have you here. All right, so I get some reanimate spells back. <clears throat> Four sideboard Ashiok is going to work pretty well. I just noticed they have the one black source. It's not very many black sources. All right, so we need white, red, another color. <laughs> you cannot run or hide.
I think I should do Wolves first before Clarion. Uh, for not Fox. Or Forks. Forks not Fox? Forks not Fox. There we go. Thank you so much for that, Twitch Prime sub. You are amazing there. Thank you very much. Our fifth sub of the day. We have two lands left. It doesn't really matter with auto tab. Time to blow up a land. We're bedazzling our opponent. Scry two on top. They're down to nine. So that's pretty good. Yeah. And Scry's black man at the top. Probably not much of a surprise there. But they cannot go like Lich plus Blood for Bones. They'd have to have, you know, Blue Creature, Blood for Bones, or a Black Reanimate card. All right, I got a Tome Battle Mitch. Okay, so the Adamant is mill four. Okay, I was thinking the Adamant was the one one counter. And so I was kind of checking that. Hmm. I like activating Gola, see if we hit, like, see if we would hit, like, Niv Mizzet. We'll just get some counters on this Garrick. So we could ultimate. I will zero first, though. You're not scared of dogs, are you? Not really, no. I like puppy dogs. Oh, right. If I would have just mortified, that was lethal. <laughs> I always play for, like, the longest turns. Yeah, I never... I'm not good at killing opponents. <laughs> yeah, I guess we did have, um, what, 11 power in play. My opponent was at 9. Could just mortified and then killed them. Activating goal is more fun. <laughs> this is why we have three hour leagues.
yes, I know I could have mortified. So, like, I, I shocked in there to keep Mortify out. So, like, I wanted to activate Golos first, but at the worst, I know I could, could Mortify a creature and Garrick minus another creature and attack for lethal. All right, so Ashiok time. Um... I feel like I should play Deputy. So if they Asian Treachery, one of my things, I just get to Deputy it back. All right, this looks good enough. Yeah, we could have a Mordigo for Agent of Treachery. I, I, I don't know what else they'll have here after cyborging. I, I don't know. So yeah, I mean, that's that's definitely an option. Well, that's an option that I'll keep in mind for game three, but I'm gonna just try playing a bunch of Ashiox, see what happens. I mean, like Tyrant Scorn, you know, bounces like our creature back if they agent of treachery it. And then we have Teferi that bounces a creature back. We have the Deputy of Detention that brings it back to us. So we have we have a lot of things that kind of deal with agent of treachery anyway. Just kind of in general. That's it. Hard fought win there. Game number two. Ashiok. Kinda busted. All right, one win. <laughs> Hey, Samantha. <clears throat> Alright, so our deck's perfect. Cyborg, our sideboard's awesome. Yeah, this is a tough metagame to play Reanimator. That is very true. Reanimator getting that splash damage. Hmm. I guess I have a lot of green sources anyway. I like having two temples. So we got... Yeah, I'll keep this. I like having two temples. No, we're gonna be playing that we're playing the competitive metagame challenge with Demir Affinity Forge. We'll be doing that later. We're right now we're playing this donation deck here. Five color Nivmizit. 
playing that first. On holiday. Why does everybody have thought erasures? <laughs> Our last opponent started game one off with triple thought erasure. Sorry, excuse me. Never miss it. Never miss it. What I put to the bottom? Just double water grave. Cool. The air deck has a lot of lands. That's okay. We're playing five color, so it's it's okay having a lot of lands. All we gotta do is just draw a Niv Mizzet, and then we just draw millions of cards, and then we're good again. Niv Mizzet. Nope. nope. <clears throat> Nickel Bolas is. Tough card to beat. Conceivable. I outsmarted you eons. <laughs> yeah, don't you love the control matchup when you draw all removal? We draw lands and removal, that's it. Except for not planeswalker removal, of course. Are never ending. Nev miss it. Oko. Every tale about me is absolute nonsense. Surely you must be famished. So yeah, all, all they have to do is have removal for this Garrick, and then we lose to the Bolas ultimate, of course. These woods get awful dark. We were born for the hunt. They did a lot better job of having Planeswalker removal. <laughs> Look at all this Planeswalker removal. I had zero Planeswalker removal. What color combo do you think Cauldron works best in? Probably, I mean, definitely green-black for sure. But then probably, like, probably Sultai. Jund? Jund is intriguing as well. With red, you can have some good self-mill stuff um, between, like, uh, Remati Reveler and Cavalier of Flame. Some other good stuff there.
We're not dead yet. We still have six cards over there. They put two to the bottom twice, though. It's kind of a good sign. They're not keeping anything on top. We, of course, need to find Niv Mizzet. That's the, the one card we really need to draw. Will resonate. I will wipe your bloodline. <laughs> you have no weakness that I cannot exploit. have been foiled. My intellect is without limit. All right. Got buried. Find a visit. I'm not sure if they're going to be a Fires of Invention deck. I guess I could have sat around and, and wait to see if they would be a Fires of Invention deck, I suppose. I'm not sure about so like basically Unward Ego would be for like Nicol Bolas. So they don't get to do that and just completely wreck us there. <laughs> don't know if I if I'm supposed to be playing for Ashiok to Unward Ego though. I won't play the Elmordi goes. I'll play the Ashiox though. All right, hoping for no thought erasure. They had all the Thought Erasers game one. Hopefully they don't have them still here for game two. Stop having discard. All right, Nimiz resolves. 
Probably die to removal, but how many cards are we going to draw? Well, the answer is three. We can either, either have Vito or Teferi. I think I'd rather have Vito, especially with all the other Vitos going away. Three's, three's a good number to draw anyway. You know, like that puts us up to seven. They have seven cards over there. Yeah, they're gonna have to just start going to, to discard. So like me not playing stuff is kind of good. They just have to discard all the time. I can just kind of keep on hitting my land drops. Oh, or I could play Oko with counterspell backup. <clears throat> no. Yeah, the metagame challenge is best of three. So do I do this, or do I have them keep discarding? I think we're going to have them keep discarding. I can do that later. <clears throat> I'll just have to discard something. I don't know. I don't really even like that I'm playing this again. Still, so it just lets them play cards out of their hand. Okay, well, they drew a Thought Erasure, so they're going to be able to play Thought Erasure anyway. So, actually, I'm, I'm glad we played it now. Let's scry first. Don't want that one. Scry. Don't want that. Let's broaden your existence. I'm down to so few cards now. Cause they were all lands. I'm pretty sure they have a basic swamp, so I can't really trophy the the backwater. Pretty sure they got a basic swamp. I think a little merriment is in order. So one, two, three, four, five, plus those four is nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, um, and then we know, we know there's, there's a lot more lands between this Garrick and the Sacred Foundry also, 
because we know we know two of those are we know two are Dovin's vetoes, one's a Teferi, and then the other four. I guess I forgot if they were just all lands or if there was a Niv Mizzet in there. Or if they were just all lands. Hone your prowess. Your new look is enchanting. There's definitely multiple lands. There's definitely at least two. So three, six, ten, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, it's at least two lands, 18, 19, at the very least, probably three or four. <laughs> so... It's 19 lands gone, but at least at least 21 lands. Is that right? That is, Welcome or was it just 20? Let's see, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so that's 18. So it's at, it's at least 20, but I think more. Somewhere between 20 to 22 lands are already gone. Yeah, so somewhere between 5 to 7 lands are left. I guess it could technically be four. I guess it's technically four to seven lands are left. At, at most seven, but it can't. It can't really be seven. Isn't over, actually, yes, it is. Those blind to tyranny are lost. They just can't see. One bite, and all your cares are gone. Stay on the trail. All right, so I, I ticked up Oko again because if they. If they play like Chandra and like sweep the battlefield, or if they just play a sweeper, I want to be able to have Oko tick up on a on a food. The immortal Nicole Bolas and make a three three immediately. <clears throat> this next turn, I was I was gonna have Garrick minus three whenever we have the extra creatures, but with just the two creatures, I didn't really want to minus three and kill a creature. Hey. What's up, Mr. Krasis? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 11, 12, 13. you to change your ways cool that could have been the rest of our lands to be honest <laughs> could have been all of them who does okay 
Still haven't seen any fires of invention over there. All right, instead of four Ashiok, I'm going to play two Ego, two Ashiok. What's your favorite legendary artifact flavor-wise? From... From what? I'm not too scared about drawing lands. You know, drawing lands is the challenge. I'm not too too scared about that. I think we're up to that challenge. Alright, so we've turned on Mortify. What's my favorite legendary artifact wise from, from this last set? From Eldrain. Um, all right, so we have the Great Henge. What's the red one? Why am I blanking on the red one? You know, we have the Cauldron, the Magic Mirror. Oh, it's Embercleave. Embercleave, duh. Embercleave. Um... And then, of course, the, the night one, the round table or whatever. What's my favorite of those? Probably probably the cauldron. Cauldron's pretty sweet. That's probably my favorite. It's a good card. Yep. Yep, no effects. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna run back that affinity deck again. So I kind of want to get some cards out of my hand first before playing Niv Mizzet. So if I just if I just play Niv Mizzet here, maybe we you know have like 10, 11 cards and we have to discard and everything. So pretty happy about this. We can make this thing lose all its abilities. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. Um, but yeah, I don't really want to play Niv Mizzet right now because again, with we we definitely have to go to discard by playing Niv Mizzet. So we had double veto. You fear your truth. <laughs> Kefnet the Elk. Not only is Kefnet an elk, but a piece of food is an elk. Oko has reduced Kefnet to be oh, the same dear. as a piece of food. The God Eternal. Go ahead, CW. Go ahead. I don't think anything's going to get banned in Standard. I don't mind getting cards out of hand. Okay, 
So red, green, white, blue, black. Okay. So red, green, white, blue, black. Whoa. White, blue, black. All right, not bad. We got three cards. It's kind of exactly how many I wanted to get. One bite, and all your cares are gone. Gone. We got our Golgari cards over there. Sacrifice a creature. Hmm. No, that won't do. I wouldn't really mind like that resolving, honestly. But I also just kind of, again, want to play something with having seven cards in hand. That's fine. you to change your ways if I play Garrick and then they have elder spell I'll be sad I'm not gonna play Garrick yet sure whatever the focus and just meditate and prepare Overwhelming. I think a little merriment is in order. into my face and put on your true shape. There you go. That's awesome, Matthew. Have fun at the game. Oh, wait, no. The, the showdown tomorrow? Yeah, that's the game. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, have fun at that at the game tomorrow. I don't think I play Garrick into Bedevil. There we go, Matthew with the sub. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought you're yeah, I guess your your Twitch Prime just ran out.
Welcome to the feast. Let's see, one, two, three, four. That's fine. All right, Niv Miser, Niv Miser reborn. How's we go with no lantern? Been just fine. We haven't really struggled casting our spells at all. And Santa six one nine. Keeping it going, Suvi Sack. All right. Well, we get five cards. Um. I guess we'll play the Ashiok. And we're gonna have to discard anyway, so you know, might as well play our stuff, so we'll trophy this blood crypt. Octro Thanks so much, Samantha. All right, so where are we at? That's eight subs on the day. You ready to go to They're down to just one black source for Nicol Bolas, like a bolt out of which isn't very many. No, niv I was going to be able to bounce niv I mean, I can just attack Ral, but I kind of want to blow up that swamp. New cards. Ooh, only one land in here. One, two, three, four, five. No, opponent, where are you going? <laughs> I have so many cards. I have so many cards. I don't even know what to do with them. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with so many cards? <laughs> and so many colors. All right, five color new visit two and O. Oh. <laughs> you have no idea how long I want you to see a new build on the visit. Well, ho hopefully you're liking this deck a lot, Caesar. Thanks, Frisky Biscuits. Ingmar, getting this up there. That is sub number nine. White, blue, black, red, green. Let's keep. Probably going to be good. Maybe. We got Temple Tribal. Well, I'm glad we kept Clarion because we would have just drawn Watery Grave. If I would have put, put it down to the bottom. Didn't really need Watery Grave. There you go, join the copy pasta club. Nice. <laughs> keeping a land keeping a hand with six lands in an invisit is awesome. I know that's that's what our deck's about. Keeping this hype going. Bant. Thank you so much there, Samantha, and welcome to the stream. Pablo Nux. Who's more foolish? The fool. The fool who rules. Alright, so that's another sub goal towards a 12-hour stream, as y'all know. 
Every time we hit a sub goal, mark it down towards a 12 hour stream. So looks like my opponent's playing uh, Bant Lands over here. That's all they got are Bant Lands. Um, we'll play you. Let's broaden your existence. See, we don't need a chromatic lantern. We just play five lands, play Niv Mizzet. Hey, Keeper, staying on that streak. I'm certain you're quite charmed to meet me. Thanks, Keeper. <laughs> All right, they sure found Oko. You see the humor here. Our Oko has more loyalty for now. So hostile to the truth. Obviously, Oko turns my Niv Mizzet into a three-three. <clears throat> Quite the nibble. One bite, and all your cares are gone. Um. But hopefully Niv Mizzet refills the hand. Five cards, so we have to discard three. Whoa! Gatsby! Coming on in. Thank you so much, Gatsby. Okay, so we're going to discard. Discard a Clarion, discard a Sacred Foundry, and then also discard Mortify. <laughs> Surprise! Thanks, guys. We got us up to 16. What's up on the day now? Let's broaden your existence. All right, let me mark down. All right, so that's sub goal number 14. So we are six away. Six sub goals away from our next 12 hour stream. Okay, so let's see. I can time wipe and pick Niv Mizzet back up, which is cool. I'm gonna get Garrick in play though. Get Garrick in play, kill their Oko. I've had enough of you. This is my cue to exit. Your new look is enchanting. It's <laughs> a good point, yep. Good point there, Caesar. You have no no reason to not play, not continue to keep playing more Nev. Ugh, another Oko. So they can kill one of my Planeswalkers. Let's <laughs> me sack. Get it in on the hype. Oh my gosh, y'all are awesome. Zubisac so gets in now five subs. Oops. That's what I was going to do. I was going to time wipe. That's what I was going to do. They did it before I could. 
All right, that's another sub goal. Let's mark it down. Sub number 15. All right, we're only five sub goals away <laughs> now from a 12 hour stream. We're getting there. No, I didn't, I didn't do anything for, I haven't done anything for any like the milestones that we've hit recently. Um, I see you yeah, like, share my vision. yeah, we just recently hit 2 million views here on, on Twitch. Recently hit a thousand YouTube subs. Omaha. Oh my gosh, so many people playing Santa today. Oh, this is amazing. Welcome to the feast. Welcome to the feast. Omaha, thank you so much. Gifting out five subs as well. And Niv Mizzet Day is a special day. I don't know, nothing wrong with Oko. We just already have an Oko out here. Your new look is enchanting. Wow. The Hype Armada, that's right. The, the Hype Armada. Our opponent's drawn lots of lands as well. Yeah! Niv Mizzet. Gosh, so many cards. Okay, so we're gonna have to discard some stuff. So I can play, I mean, I can, I can play two spells, get two spells out of my hand. Um, And many training sessions. My answers lie in the cold truth. All right, so we don't have to discard. Yeah. One bite, and all your care. Yeah, don't even need fires in this deck. We need, we need to be able to cast more than two two spells a turn. Our man has been just fine. Well, that's a <clears throat> that's a good top tech. I mean, I can't complain. I just played a Niv Mizza that drew a bunch of cards, also. So I can't complain too much here. The thing is, I don't really have a good way to, to deal with that crisis, besides like time wipe. All right, we found some ways. Oh, 
What's this? <laughs> I hunt bigger game. Looks like you weren't fit to survive. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. The proper application of knowledge. Oh dear. Why would you block there and not block Niv Mizzet? This thing doesn't have trample. Could have just jumped Niv Mizzet. <laughs> Do we have enough cards? Oh yeah, I guess I have Assassin's Trophy in here that could have killed it. That gets them a land though, I don't like getting them a land. Wait, this is a mass manipulation deck. Uh oh. I should have maybe held up Drown in the Lock. Or Dovin's Veto. I didn't have Dovin's Veto at the time I played Garrick though. Uh yeah, this is a problem. Looks like they have manipulation. Just don't have it this turn. Let me untap and hold up Veto. I didn't need to play Garrick, I guess. Yay! Not manipulation. Yay! I don't know why they did 11 and not 12. Harness the elements. There are some things. Yeah, I was thinking mass manipulation for sure. Also, I know my response. Bounce the misery born. Just give me another one to play later. Cool. Nothing. All right, let's see. All right, so these cards are gonna go away. So, we'll play you. Destroy that thing. Hmm. Welcome to the feast. This is kind of difficult. I don't really know. I guess I'll just get rid of Crisis. It's only one blue source left. It's not a May. You just have to take the cards. Oh, I meant to I meant to tick up two on the Royal we Scions to give that one plus plus two. Crystallizing. No. Oh. You. All right, well, Royal Scion's ultimate should do. <clears throat> no. 
Oh my gosh. That actually kills me. That exactly, like, th yeah, that kills me, exactly. Exactly kills me. Ah, uh, should have played Enter the God Eternals last. Will surely overcome you. Exactly kills me at 11. Should have played Enter the God Eternals last turn. Too many cards to play. Too many cards to play. Why is Agent of Treachery a thing? Well, Dispark only hits CMC4 or greater. I can't Dispark Royal Scions. It costs three. And I can't Assassin's Trophy it either. Well, I, obviously, I didn't have the mana for that, but yeah. Yeah, I need them to have, like, mass manipulation to, to counter that. Marion seems pretty good. It's not the Ashiox. I don't know. I feel like the Ashiox would be good. Okay. <laughs> Bad agent of treachery. <laughs> With the sub. That is awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, sorry, I was I was a little focused on sideboarding there. And missed it at first. <clears throat> no, I don't think no, this this deck doesn't need tail Tail's end isn't Um, isn't super powerful and I, I don't don't think it's too necessary in the metagame right now So I can double shock to play Teferi or Ashiok. Get rid of Agent of Treachery, Mass Manipulation. Alright, well, we got rid of Teferi. Really, this is hard to my worst Teferi gone. I'll shear the wool from your eyes and spin you clarity. One bite, and all your cares are gone. I 
These games just go so long. Don't worry, I got this. The games go so it's long that just poison. Ashiok just getting rid of a bunch of cards from the library is honestly pretty good. Deputy taking out Krasis is perfect. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Mm. Another Nissa. It's not fair. I'll return. Getting rid of another Nissa is good. Hey, yo, Silver. Thanks for that reset there. Hey, yo, Silver. 28 on the day, two away from another sub goal. There you go, good Matthew. We will not fail. Happy to hear that, good job. Good. No! I was trying to get rid of all these Nissas. Possible they have a counter spell. Ready to pump fake. Play this. Nope, don't play it. Play this. Revel with your king, wild and sovereign and free. Your new look is enchanting. You My dream did a bad job of exiling stuff. Hit no agent of treacheries. That was, that was a bad exile right there. All right, any time for that Niv-Mizzet. Um, I think the permanent still goes back to them, but, like, the crisis was going to be a 0-0 zero, zero anyway, so it doesn't matter. But I don't think Elking Deputy gets rid of that, but I don't know, to be honest. I'm not sure. Draw time, wait. Yes. Guess the opponent thinks it's game. Probably have disdainful stroke. Yeah, yeah, I would expect, yeah, so they get the card back still, Deputy, but they, yes, yeah, so they get it back, but still 0-0. Zero, zero.
What? Why would you take Deputy? They could just take Oko and then have Oko minus five and trade the food in the Deputy. So they could have they could have taken both the Oko and the Deputy and given me this food. If they didn't tap their Hallowed Fountain to cast that, they would have lethal also. But oh well. <clears throat> Ashiok, you're supposed to take Agent of Treacheries. Didn't work. Didn't work. <clears throat> Yep, Niv picked up a loss. I'm sure there's definitely a way I could have won game one. You know, I, the game one. I don't. I don't have to take the Royal Scions up to eight. I'm sure I could have won that. Yeah, Ashiok and Thought Erasure do drastically different things. Yeah, I've played... Hmm. This is tough. Yeah, we'll keep him. Yeah, I, yeah. the question is, did I ever play mu any musical instruments? And I was in the high school band. Um, I was actually a drum major senior year. But I, I played um, the different saxophones. It's like alto, berry. Never really played tenor actually. It's basically just alto, berry, and then I, and clarinet. So I played uh, wind wind instruments. Mostly clarinet and berry sax. The ends of the spectrum there. Tuba? Nice. Always like the tuba. Okay, play clarinet in concert band in college. Nice. We got a few drummers in here. I don't want Niv Mizzet countered. Don't really want to play Niv Mizzet. Kind of expecting them just to pop the wishing well.
You'll thank me later. If I bounce to fairy dice to shock, if I tick up, does not. I'll protect you. <clears throat> but then we also don't get to draw a card and everything. If I tick up, it'd still die to like any, you know, like a three damage burn spell. Ugh, they had the shock. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Darn. Darn. I'm basically playing around Quench here by shocking in. I'm gonna at least make sure that Quench doesn't counter my spells. Okay. Good shock in. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Twitch is, Twitch is just kind of bugged right now. It says zero viewers over on my side also. Um, so I'm going to bring in the vetoes. I'm thinking I'll bring in Night of Autumn. I'll probably cut Clarion. The spark could be pretty good against my opponent too, though. Maybe play the spark. We'll try doing that. Cut a time wipe with us bringing another with Dovin vetoes, like we bring another blue white cards. Oh, y'all see 819? Okay. Over on my side, it says zero. No white mana yet. But we'll find white mana. We got five temples. Temple tribal. <laughs> Why is he streaming for zero people? You can just quit. <laughs> um... White mana. <clears throat> what do I do when I feel like I've done too much magic? Um... It doesn't, it doesn't really feel that way, honestly. Um, I guess there there may be like a couple of times where I feel like that, and then at those times I probably end the stream short. Kind of thing. All these electrostatic fields. I'm planning on next turn having, you know, playing three drop and having veto to help it resolve. Don't think I ne really need to play another three drop into a counter spell though before that.
Which one's the better one to have in place? Scions or Oko? Scions just loots a bunch. Oko gains a bunch of life. We'll go Scions. Y'all like Oko? Sister by my side, I do not fear the up to know is to triumph. <laughs> Alright, Zedalom. Have fun at Modern FM. Let me know how it goes. Love it. Cover my back, Rowan! My answers lie in the cold truth. Too many expensive cards. That's bad. That's bad. That was bad. All right, I need cheaper spells. Never mind on the whole, the spark could be good in this matchup. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, Royal, Royal Sounds are, are, scar are Scottish. I was expecting them to have like Crackling Drake, Ral, things like that, especially after, after board. For... Dispark, but doesn't look like it, so I boarded out Dispark. Of course, I should let them anticipate first and make their decision before I play the Growth Spiral. So that's a mistake by me. It's me being impatient. Hey, Louise.
All right, so they didn't play anything. So if they don't have a land here, ah, they had a land. Let's say if they don't have a land here, they'd have to go to discard. The Dance of the Mance is like. So like, the question is why why I'm not playing any of those, any of those in the Affinity deck. Basically, um, I don't know. It's like that's a really good late game card, of course. But that deck's already good in the late game, and I I feel like we got enough powerful stuff in the late game with like the Planeswalkers and stuff, and I I just want those instead. Oh yeah, I'm sure they have a handful of counter spells. Got four cards in hand. Done. One, two, three, four, And I'm not going to let Quench counter anything. They kept their card on top. That's likely just another counter spell. Or an, it's an explosion. Hmm. Scribe both to the top. Looks like this is the end for Niv Mizzet. Counter spells are rough, you know, when we're playing twenty seven lands and you know, we're we're playing twenty seven lands, we only have a we don't have like that many. We only have a few spells that are really important that they resolve. And so counter magic's rough. And opponent had all those counter magics. All them counters. That that is a very fitting Last card. I wonder if my opponent did that on purpose. They had Tails End for the last card. 
sense. Game winning card there with Tails End. All right, but overall, I'd have to say our deck did pretty well. We were weak to Agent of Treachery, taking our Royal Scions on eight, and to millions of counter spells. So we were weak to those two things. Um, I feel like our deck could use another Krasis. You know, with playing those games, Krasis gets to draw you the cards, um, even if it gets countered. Oko was pretty good, but like not spectacular. But I guess we didn't really face too much aggro where, where we really need Oko more. Also, maybe maybe just two Oko, two Crisis though. That could be a that could be a spot to get another Crisis in here. That could be a spot there. But oh well. Um, so there we go. So it worked pretty well. Like our, you know, like our mana worked worked well. I liked how he just had 27 lands. Um, and I think that's like another reason why Krasis is really good whenever you have 27 lands, of course. Um, but I liked how he just had 27 lands and, um, and uh, our, yeah, like our mana worked well. We didn't have to like play like the, the crappy mana fixing cards like chromatic lantern and stuff like that i think it still works just fine um i'm not super sure about escape to the wilds for the gruel card i wanted to try it out here but i could definitely see playing ravager worm instead and ravager worm kind of gives you just another threat another removal spell kind of thing can pressure can pressure planeswalkers um, the Escape to the Wilds was fine. Like, basically, we cast it a couple of times that we were going to be, like, winning anyway kind of thing. Um, so, like, that's that's another option, just playing Ravager Worm instead of Escape. I think probably next time I'd rather have Ravager Worm, but that's another option there. Okay, so there we go. It's five color Niv Mizzet. All right, so I hope you all enjoyed that video. Hope you all enjoyed the deck. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch, let me know. Let me know what you thought about the deck and all the, the card choices, all that kind of stuff. Um, and, of course, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there as well. And I think I said on Twitch, but I meant on YouTube if I said that incorrect. If I didn't, then, you know, uh, of course, I, I meant it, what I said. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's it here for 5-Color Niv-Mizzet. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.